CycleDrag.com, classic Kawasaki fans, where are you? We have a treat for you. Yes, you are looking at the legendary, iconic 73 Z1900. This is the motorcycle that took the Japanese inline four-cylinder muscle bike to a whole new level. Now, right next to it, you see the evolution. It is the 78 Z1R. Notice the fairing, some changes. That was really the beginning of the thought process that led to the Ninja. My man John Kramen is here, the human encyclopedia. John, I know you're an old cow guy like me. What do you think of when you see this classic root beer paint over here on the Z1? Well, you know, we go back to 1969, Honda reset the bar and started the performance bike world with their CB750. Kawasaki was developing a similar bike at the same time, but by the time they brought their bike out in 1972, they said, we're going to one-up them a little bit. Let's take that 750 and let's punch it out to 900. And they were the absolute king on the streets. You asked about that paint scheme, you know, at a first look, it might look a little bit gaudy or it might look a little bit weird, but the reality is, is this is the way that most of us that were around back then, this is the way that we remember them. This is the way that these bikes are supposed to look. One trend in this market right now is to restore motorcycles back to their original condition. Many motorcycles, if not all of them, were very heavily modified. You know, getting rid of the four into one exhaust pipes, putting a four in one header, rejetting them, taking the air box off of them. Uh, with can and air filters, all very common touches. And this is the trend to bring them back to their original configuration. Disadvantage of a motorcycle like this, price tag. Probably worth today somewhere in the fifteen dollars to $18,000 price range. Wow. Kawasaki didn't give up. They said, you know what? We got stiff competition from Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki. In the 1970s, they were all pushing the performance envelope. And it culminated in 1978 with the Kawasaki uh, Z1 the performance version, the Z1R. Z1R. That's right. They they took the same architecture of the 900 engine that we just saw. In fact, the engine looks very similar. Uh, they punch out to a thousand cc, still with a five-speed manual transmission. Old school, old tech, air cooled, carbureted, but an absolute monster with double overhead cams and a conventional two valve per cylinder configuration. Many aftermarket shops spent a lot of time developing these engines for drag racing and for road racing. And once again, the trend, just like on all of the Japanese motorcycles of the 1970s that are exploding in popularity, bring these bikes back to original. And thanks to the aftermarket, the cottage industries that have been so helpful in making reproduction bits and pieces to bring these motorcycles back to their stock configurations. It is beautiful. Now, John, as a consumer, you had a choice with a 78 KZ1000, okay? But the Z1R, this is the bike that's starting to get a little radical. Look at this fairing. All of a sudden, we started to see an aero package, which we know would eventually lead us into that sport bike era, wouldn't it? Right, you're exactly right. You know, we're just starting the beginning of where aerodynamics and of course sport bikes within three or four years with full fairings and a more laid down riding position would be the way to go. So a lot of the old school riders that like the upright position but still want a muscle bike, want a performance bike, this is what the market is going after right now with a lot of people here at this auction wondering, is this a really good time to buy? Prices are high, but will the prices continue to climb, especially on really great examples like this pair here? I could see a potential buyer considering maybe buying, because these are bookends, maybe buying both of these bikes. Wow. And if you have them for five or 10 years, keep them in, 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 in riding condition, which is not difficult to do because they're relatively simple motorcycles. There's no coolant to mess around with. Just keep fresh gas in it, run the engine once in a while, run around the block once in a while, and maybe in five or 10 years, you might be able to double your money. No guarantee on that, but I think that's on a lot of people's minds here at what is the world's largest vintage motorcycle auction. Very heavy on quality Japanese motorcycle. The market is definitely telling us that these motorcycles, the baby boomers that grew up riding the small Hondas and Yamahas that evolved into these big bikes, they're getting back involved. These are the bikes of their youth, the dream bikes back in their era, big price tags. Awesome, thank you so much, John. And here it is, guys. We'll give you one more side-by-side -side look at a piece of history. If you love old cows like we do, make sure you share this video around. Leave us a comment about your memories of the Z1, KZ, and Z1R.